So this is the Zelda themed Baba level pack. It recreates like the Zelda map. There's even some plot. You should just get into it. Level intro. Baba is still not near. Baba said Baba eat with Keke. Baba said Baba with Wug on Wug Hill. Maybe Wug is evil? Wug has Baba. Keke defeat Wug and find Baba. <laughs> Keke not fear and find Baba. So you might have also noticed the even though it's Baba's use styled music, it's using Zelda melodies. Also, kind of makes me sad I'm going to be speaking over the music a lot of the time, but okay. So in this pack, there's a lot of rules text at the top, obviously. You're not really meant to read all this. Instead, this is, pack is really much more about experimentation and using all those rule texts to emulate Zelda mechanics. So, okay, if I pick up that, it becomes a sword text. Idle tile facing Zelda. I mean, <laughs> so, I, idle tile facing Keke's sword. I guess there's invisible tiles everywhere, so that is how the sword is emulated. If I idle, which is pressing space, I bring out my sword. That's why there's also a space on the very right side. So yeah, I can use my sword to open the door, and there we go. Okay. Okay, here's the first real level, I think. Hmm. Ghost is move and defeat, but I can use my sword to break fences and kill ghosts. Okay. So it's also cool that mechanics, like, retain themselves between, uh, levels. So, okay, we use our sword, bring it out, and then break the fence, and there we go, stars win. So you can see, you're not really meant to be constantly reading the rules, okay? <laughs> okay, make rule field. That's a pun on high rule field. We have trees, we can also break the trees. Level without me and Baba's win. So I just kill the me's and the Baba's? Oh, there's a ton of Babas, though. Luckily, the Babas only move in one direction. Okay, hmm. I wonder if there's an easier way to do this. Or do you just, like, slowly kill the enemies? Okay. So we're trying to kill the Babas and the Mies. There we go. Okay. Kill this and me, and there we go. I killed them all. And I thought me and Baba were good characters on the good side. Mini boss, wait. We got mini bosses? Okay, I can kill Wugs. Oh! Okay, I can't die there. I can't undo. Maybe... I don't know if it's in the spirit to restart when I take damage or whatever. Because we definitely can't undo past all of it. Yeah, let's try to avoid the dust, though. Okay, and... Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's worth noting there's definitely ways to do levels that are more death-focused. Okay, I, I killed all of the Wug. That's, like... Hmm. Because we definitely can program it, so the level kicks you out if you die. I don't- I'm not sure if they consider that or not. Oh, shrines. Magnesis. Okay, so, clearly- okay, I no longer bring out a sword when I press space. Hmm. Okay, so what I did there was I press space, it fired out a piece of dust. And becomes a fire that moves at the same time as me. So, I guess that makes sense as magnesis. Because now it's under my control, I can sink it. Uh, oh, I'm probably supposed to do this on the statues as well. Am I doing something wrong here? Hmm. I guess I'm going to need to hold space twice, I'm not really sure. But, any no, not that soon. Okay, there we go. And can I move around the lava? Oh! Oh, shoot! If I hold space, I can make it connect to farther distances. Lava on pillars, not defeat. Then I can press space to cancel the magnesis, and therefore just stand over the lava using the pillar. I can still move the store around. Okay, flag is win. And I can use the magnesis to push rule text. There we go. Oh, but... but that doesn't count as win. Oh, what? Okay, that's... okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that for some reason. I can carry the flag. Okay, I can bring that over, and we... Here's the thing, though. Don't we want to detach from the door? Hmm... This is weird. Oh, remember the door is defeat. Oh, I know! We cancel the door, and then we grab the flag by itself. There we go. Okay. Stasis. Okay, so, 
If I press space, a huge pile of rocks appear. I mean, not rocks, <laughs> dust appear, and they bring it into stasis. Okay, so that means I can go in here and... Oh, but if I push it, what? Then it stops being in stasis. Okay, but right now what I'm just trying... All I'm trying to do is um, bring the rock... Uh, I, I messed up. Just get the rock into a position where I can push it into the water, and there we go. Okay. Three. There's some extra levels that are appearing too. Cry Cryoness. Okay. Idle Keki on. No, <laughs> idle water and Keki is ice. So, that means I can change it into ice. We puzzles. <laughs> okay, but, but it becomes solid, right? Mia's move. I can make Mia's move happen if I just keep making ice up in here. Okay, but was that a good idea? I feel like I want to make some sort of bridge for the me. Well, not trapping it like that. Do not trap the me like that. Okay. Does this work out? And then the me goes into the door and opens it. There we go. And then we go in there and just build ice on top. And there we go. So it turns water into ice. And what's for? Remote bombs. Okay, idle keke without star make dot. What do dot- Oh! Dots are effectively bombs. And then if I press idle again, it explodes the bomb. Okay. I wonder why I can so easily break this rule apart, though. Hmm. Well, can we blow up boxes? Seemingly not. Hmm. I just want to keep blowing up these. I think the idea must be that we die on top of the tiles, so we need to bring the boxes. So I place this here. Okay, I, I put the boxes at the very bottom left, and that will allow me to eventually make the rule rock his flag. Uh, okay, so here I put a dot into the belt, wait until it reaches the end, then explode it, there we go. And then we can bring the box out as normal. I'm not completely sure why the ghosts are there, because you don't seem to need them, but anyway. Rock is flat. I don't have any rocks! Then I Hold on. I needed to keep some rocks in play, I guess. Okay. That should be easy. We just, um... Are the rocks pushable? No. I, I go here. Okay, so that's how we keep a rock, and, and the rest is as normal. Oh my gosh. I should have just killed the ghost as soon as I could, because it was, it was nothing but getting in the way. Okay, but I think we got it now. We do that. Rock has flag, and there we go. There's our flag, because we had a rock, and we could explode it. Okay, well. That unlocked level 5 paraglider, but do I want to do the extras? Let's try flying machine. This is... This was the possession one, if you remember. So we can do that. Okay, but we can't even possess the flag. Well, clearly the flying machine is relevant though, so... Okay, hmm. And how does this how is this useful to get a flying machine up? We should try to maybe possess something that's below me eventually. And move it down like this. Then aim downwards. Okay, that is a flying machine. In fact, you don't even need both pillars. There you go. Alright, cool. Oh, that unlocks it in the world map. Well, we should do the rest of the levels, obviously. Unsafe bridges. Okay. Clearly those are unsafe. Oh, but if this is a stasis gimmick, if you remember. So if the fences are in stasis, they're safe to be on. In fact, what, what is going on there? Okay, it automatically transfers its stasis to the other fences there. Okay. And there is something about rocks. How do I deal with those? If I put a stasis in there, I can push the rocks to the right. There is lava here, but it doesn't matter. Okay, the lava is only destroying rocks. It doesn't affect Heke at all. Okay, now I want a stasis here. Is the timing bad? Maybe stasis the rock as well. There we go. Okay, and... Oh, whoops. Bad timing. Okay, stasis in here, and there we go. So, we had a timer stasis so that it hit the rock and the fence at the same time. Okay. Bonus three, Cryonis platforming. Well, okay, we have some ladders here. How does this work? If I put ice here, I can go on top of- Okay, that's nice, huh? 
So if I'm on top of a ladder, I can go on top of walls. Makes sense. So like, lava is the feet though. Hmm. I don't make a bridge on top of that, that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna die on the lava, right? Um, hmm. Can I break lava's defeat? Is that the idea? So I go over here. Oh, nice. I can break lava's defeat from there. Okay. Now we fall into a lower level, of course. Rock is pushing his flag, so we need to make the rock have a flag. Star is sink right there. So we need to get the rock on there on the star. So why don't I make an, just a single ice there and again? Oh, because I will also want to make a bridge to the star. Okay. How difficult is that? Because hmm. right now, I just want to make as much ice as possible. Maybe that's not a good idea, though. Anyway, let's go on the ladder and push this rock onto the star. There we go. Okay, level 5 now. Let's check out Paraglider. Okay, what do we have here? Hmm. Does anything happen if I press space? I actually can't tell. Oh, it's simply that I can scale walls. But usually I'm falling. Oh, what? Okay, a fungus is used as a paraglider, which is funny. Yes, this is a good description of what the, the mechanic of this is. Hmm, how do I get pa- Well, let's just- Oh! I guess it's safe on grass. I don't know why it's allowed to stick like that. Huh. Okay, that's nice. So, I think it kind of sticks to even the bottom of walls a little bit. So, how do I get- I, Oh, I guess I move here! Yeah, that's how you get to the very right side. And then we would need to jump in here and glide past the lava. Dang, that's so good. Glide past the lava. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's check out what's unlocked on the world map. Okay. Tower of Hera, let's go. Hook shot. Okay, so... If I press space, a hook comes out, I guess, and... Okay, th is it only push? Hmm. Oh no, I should hold it, right. Hmm. Is that ever gonna let me pull it back? That's the thing I want to see. Or maybe... Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, so... This means that I can push this to the side. Why would I want flag is push? I guess we want flag is push before the win. So we do this, make flag is push, using a hook to push it in. Hmm. I don't like that it goes there and immediately stops being pushed. That's kind of bad. It was just a blocker text. I'm not completely sure, but we can still get win out like here. And whoops, hold on, died a little too fast. Um, let's get on top of here and then push it to say flag is win, right? You're gonna need to make sure it doesn't fall in walls though, but anyway, let's ride the hook shot again and flag is win. Okay, now I can ride the hook shot onto the flag and there we go. Okay, level two, Pegasus boots. Uh, where am I? Okay, I'm up there on the top right. So, idle Keke not facing wall. Make... Well, we need to do something. Currently, Keke turns tile into brick and then lava when it goes next to it. Hmm... Okay. This is weird. I'm not sure what this is yet. Not facing wall. Okay. So... No, I, I just immediately die. I, I press space while looking up. Okay, so if I move, I break out of the stasis. But in that case, I don't want to break stasis. I want to keep holding space. So the rule is something like that. Okay. I'm pretty sure I need to get back, right? Oh, it's fine if I go over the lava. Interesting. That's not entirely what I would have expected. But okay, we can break pillar is stop, which puts in the ghosts. Okay, now the win is out. Now I need to say pillar is win, right? Okay. Okay. Feels like they, they should have done something to allow the, um... Oops. Oh, did I die to... Oh, I... Whoa. Huh. The ghosts really don't bother me very much, huh? 
Okay, I feel like they should have done something to make the music not go away. But okay, we can bring this pillar as win, then go all the way back again. There we go. Hey, level three, hook shot across the chasm. Oh, there's a lot of rules. Is the rule, are the rules any different from before? Oh, we, I think we're combining the different heights with hook shotting. Can I, hmm, what do I do here? Oh, oh, wow. That's really weird to think about. We just hook shot it over into another playable area. Okay. Uh, can we hook shot over the lava? Yes, we can. We can hook shot over to the right side. Oops. Don't want to fall, probably. I wonder if fungus doesn't mean anything. Oops. Clearly, we need to make some sort of flag as win or something like that. We can hook shot over here. Oh, do the fungus stop the hook shot from traveling? Well, I can do this. I can fire a hook shot down in order to say flag is and prepare the wind that's gonna come eventually. Oops. Oh, okay. So I noticed the fungus is preventing me from going back over to that platform. Is there a way for me to get back? Let's go here. Ride this, ride this. Okay, we have the wind and I'd like to go on the top platform. Can I do that? Yes. Okay, seems like we're really close then. We need to go to the bottom and probably over here. Do I really need to use this area? I love how the that line has been there for a long time. Okay, here we go on this this ladder. Um, how do we get over here where we would want to be so we can push flag as win? I wonder if there's multiple ways to approach this level. Okay, there we go. That's how we do it. And then we can do that to say flag is win. And we need to get back to the flag now. So just use the standard ways of getting over. Because again, I'm on the lower floor. So I'm on the lower floor, so the walls are in my way just for now. Okay, now I'm on top of the walls and let's get onto the flag. Okay, level four, dash attack. What? <laughs> okay, we got the sword mechanic back. Oh, wow. Wow. This is combined the sword mechanic with the, you know, moving two spaces per turn mechanic. But okay. Honestly, I'm not completely sure how ghosts destroy. Because you can see that when I'm trying to do this, it's not getting all of them. Probably because Keki is skipping half of the tiles. So that's why only half the ghosts are dying every time I do this. But yeah, it seems doing well enough, though, that this isn't a challenge. There we go. This is so creative. It's like a sandbox. Because, like, none of those are designed to be difficult, I think. At least so far. Um, armor thief. What's the rule here? I'm firing hook shots. What's going on? Hmm. So I noticed that me is inside the armor. Can I use this at all? Oh, but... Lion facing statue is hand, so... Am I separating the me from the armor when it's being possessed? I think that's the idea. How do I get past the lava? Lava kills me. Oh, I completely forgot that I could... <laughs> okay, I could hook shot over the lava, that's right. Okay, but I can now pull the statue and maybe even sink it? Maybe we need me's help here in order to get it... No, we can't seem to pull it. Hmm. Not totally sure what the statue is. I mean, you can pull it back, okay. So... I mean, that's still interesting because this hook shot pulls objects like I was expecting it to. Hmm. Now we need to go to the other side. Did I mess something up? This seems fine, right? Just get to the other side. Okay, now I need to sink three things into this water. Probably getting all of the statues in some way. Hmm. Interesting that statue pulls now, of course. I mean... Not, not statue, uh, the hookshot pulls. Don't know where to start though. Let's try pulling it here because I think if I really wanted to, I could pull a statue to basically anywhere. It's just that I need to be in the right spot to do it. See, this is bad because I can't pull the vertical. Okay, I'll try to cut from here. So I'm going to pull from here. Okay, now I'm gonna go up and try to pull down into this spot. There we go. And now, try to pull the statue from the bottom position so I can retain it. Okay, the top statue, I'm pulling it down. Whoops. Okay, no, I want to do it from here so it doesn't sink. I'm just switching it to this location. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the statue to the middle. 
then go back up. Oops, I died to the water. Uh, okay, now pull down, and that should go in the water. There we go, we've opened, up, we've opened the path to the flag. There we go. Okay, is there a boss at the end? Yes, there is. Hard to rock. Okay, what's the idea here? We have a hook shot still. Hmm. Oh, okay, so... That bat shoots fire at the platform, so I should try to get off the platforms if possible. So... There's also clouds with electricity. So am I pulling the black, uh, black, the bat into the clouds? Is that the idea, or I'm just, I'm just pulling it in general? Let's just fire a sh shot into here. I'm really hoping to capture the bat. I don't know if it's reliable though. Okay, is it gonna move up? Yes, it is. Okay, now it's an orb. Okay, so all I needed was to put it onto one of the platforms, it seems, and the bat always moves in this um, circular ring. Okay, and I was just, now I'm playing. Am I playing as the orb now? What is going on here? Oh, I just okay. That was three hits. Never mind. I just did that three times in a row. So I also have an orb of courage here. Okay, that's just a bonus orb. There you go. Well, we can go into one of the other two, the fire temple. Fire rod. Well, this doesn't look very fiery to me, but okay, idol. You gotta press space fire comes out and where does it come out it's a little weird because i press space here but it doesn't go onto the fence instead it just kind of goes and moves on its own hmm i guess this is because the way it works is i press space and then a piece of fire comes out at the space that the dust is looking so effectively if i put it against the wall it comes out behind me but otherwise it goes in forward but only in the space that's next to it okay this also does burn trees. I love that. The trees turn into stumps, the grass turns into rubble. Okay, so clearly we do need to burn this. It also killed the ghosts. Oh, wait, why did I die? Okay, I guess I shouldn't go on top of the grass then. Okay, and it left some flame behind. Hmm. Clearly I need to just go in at a time where the flames aren't there. Hmm. Not completely sure how it's making so much fire. But okay. We can burn that. We also need to burn that ghost. Why did that ghost die? I guess um I'm going to need to do this like when the ghosts are both on the grass. Why did Hmm. Okay, what if they're both not on the grass when I bring the fire out? So unintuitive. It looks like the part of the rules going not keke feeling melt and near fire make fire means that the ghosts burn if they're near fire, not on it. And then there's the odd behavior of the fire remaining in the world, but then the fire dies if it's on rubble. This is one of the harder mechanics to think about, I think, because I'm getting the impression the fire and rubble is like a two-tiered system. Okay, we can burn that. Flag is win. This is not successfully really disabling these, and I believe the box might need to connect to the ghost somehow. Like, can we get those out of the way, burn the trees, uh, burn the trees, and then push this box near the ghost or something? Or even on top of the ghost entirely. Don't, don't want to die on the keke. Hey, uh, okay, that got rid of one, which should just be enough. Okay, the box turned into rubble and overlap the fire. I wish there was a better way to explain this. Oh well, let's continue with this. Level 2, Bomb Arrows. Okay, so- Wow. If I press- This is like hookshot plus bombs, I see. So I fire... And okay, but I can't continually hold space. There's like a three turn cooldown or something on placing new ones, but okay. I shouldn't even need to put up a text box for this. It's pretty clear that if I press space, it shoots out a bomb effectively. And that's all you need to know. Okay. I love the text at the bottom. It says defeat all. I mean, that's not a rule. It's funny to see text used in the wrong way like that. Okay. Those die, those die. Okay. okay. Now, can I aim a little better, please? Okay, there we go. Oh, what? Oh, come on, the statues came alive. I think they're slightly following Keke too, so... Uh... Shoot. 
there. Um, no, we can plan this out better. Shoot here, shoot here. They're a little apart now. Didn't, I think, I swear one of those pillars have stacked. I mean, not pillars, statues. Okay, and one left. Damn it. I'm not dying to a single one. There we go. Did I call them pillars? I meant st <laughs> Anyway, frozen pillars. Looks like a familiar-ish level. This is the same rule as before, where I press space to create fire on top of me. Or not on top of me. Create fire on the space one ahead of me. Hmm, I can create a ghost. Okay, so that's funny because we had a mechanic that changed water into ice, and now we have the reverse. Okay, what's the goal? Flag is win all the way up there. And I need to have like... Okay, so all the me's go and sink into this water so that this top... So that this me that's facing up can go and sink in here. So I need to do this in order, right? And is it just in reverse order? Like this. This. Ow! Wait, what the? Okay, that me's going the opposite direction. Nice troll. Wait, what the hell? Okay, does that mean that's the first one that we hit? Yeah, okay. That's a nice twist. Was not expecting that. And then we just do that rest. There we go. Okay, now this one, which we prepared. So the Mies turn into ghosts when I destroy them. I said that way too late. <laughs> okay. It also seems ice, like, ripples through. So when I do this... Oh, hmm. Okay, the ice kind of rippled too fast. And it turned a piece into water before the ghosts could get past it. So we don't want that ghost to die there. Maybe here? And then... Um, how do I get there before the ghost? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I idle on this turn, by the way. Um, on here. So then I got onto the ice, just in time. Okay, level four. Infestation. This is another bomb club deluxe <laughs> level okay i shoot bombs and the bugs might regenerate what does that just go through okay jeez no wonder it's called infestation it's the bug bite infestation dang it okay we there's less and less though so that's good hey okay. oh come on okay from here i undid back here probably should be better here well, it would be better if these freaking bugs would look up. Ugh, okay, here. Here. One bug left, which will quickly become like four, but whatever. Okay, there we go. Okay, level five, which is going to be the burning rule set again. This is going to be a disaster. It's just going to kill me very hard. Yeah. The level design makes it look like I'm like going down to the bottom right or something. There's rubble down there. Is Does that imply that it's... I'm supposed to go here and then do this when I'm safe on the rubble? There we go. That killed everything. And then I make sure not to step in the fire. There we go. Okay. Okay, from this step... I wonder if I need to time myself when it comes to entering this level. It seems like it's not, though, and I can move just past the ghosts. Need to get to the rubble again. Okay, and if I, of course, it should be a little obvious, but if the ghost is facing me, then I can walk past it like that, making a left move. Okay, there we go. Now I can burn this. All right, next section. Walk past the ghost again. Not there. Um, okay, this looks really good. There's a small corner for me to fit in and... Okay. Oh, come on, the ghost is on the rubble. Nice troll. Okay, there we go. Everything's gone, and flag is win. There we go. Fear revenge. Okay, what, what's this? Is this fire? Oh, shoot. I think this is meant to be, <laughs> like, satisfyingly easy. Holy crap. This makes fire, and it spreads to the bugs. Very nice. Alright. I seriously just died after saying it was satisfyingly easy. Oh my god. Get out of here, okay. <laughs> All right. King Babongo. All right, what, are, what mechanic is this? We got Bomb, I think. Oh, this is Evil Baba? 
Oh shoot, that is Evil Baba. It's firing these uh, hook shots and these fires. Come on. Okay, we, we should like, what, try to get to the back of Baba when standing still? Did that not work? Hmm. Maybe it's invincible doing that? I don't know. It does seem like Baba is moving in this um, ring pattern though. Also, like, this boss remix is like a really good stealth remix of the garden theme. I don't know if it's taking hits or not. I really oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> did, it, did it die? I can't tell. When I did this, what happened? Damn, what the hell? Okay. Can I, can I only get the star like this? Okay. Okay, I- that was a, I missed that that was the idea. Where you had to shoot it while the evil Baba was doing its hook shot, effectively. Okay, orb of power. And there we go. There's the orb of power. I guess this is the replacement for the Triforce. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lost Woods. Okay. Beetle take flight. Huh. Okay. So, if I press space, I can summon a floating bug. I can break lava's defeat that way. And this also helped me get past this fence. Okay, but that's not... I should do this instead. There we go. And there's this pillar, but the pillar is not strong enough for the bug. I need to do it myself. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Me near bug follow bug. So. Come on. Make it face. Hmm. Parody is actually not good enough, but fine. We'll do that and that. Well, effectively, that was good enough, wasn't it? Okay. Now I can dismount the bug and... We got more bugs now, and you take flag is win. It's a little annoying because bug cannot idle because idling right here just returns control back to Keke. Okay, so we need flag is win. So we need to attract the meat into this water. Same for this one. This particular one wants to make here. There we go. That's how to get the word flag out. Oh, whoops. Mm, and there's this uh, pillar. That pillar being in the way shouldn't be a problem. I just need to dismount to Keke and then break the pillar myself. Interesting how it works, though, that the pillars come back when the Keke is not around. Okay, but we can make Flagus win very easily. First of all, though, the me needs to be dragged into the water, and then we can make Flagus win. There we go. Okay, level two. Deku Leaf. This... Okay. Pressing space brings wind. This ghost is also, I think, trying to kill me. I'm gonna press space here. Seems like this doesn't- this wind doesn't last all that long, but it goes pretty far. Alright, and the boxes. Okay. The boxes I will also need to push using the wind only, but okay. Oh, come on, they stacked? How annoying. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just do that, and okay. So I just need to push these boxes with the wind mechanic. Okay, three. Sand rod. Okay, so right now we're using the ladders, the multi-layered mechanic, where I can go on top of these walls if I use the ladder first. What is this? Rocks. Okay, so why wouldn't I just do this, this? Oh, I can only do it once, I see. So I do that, but only one set of rocks can be there on the level at any one time, and if I press space, the rest of the rocks disappear. Okay, and of course I will need to do this all in a single holding of space, but there we go. Okay, level four. This is once again the bug level, so pressing space allows me to bring the bug form out. And bring rocks over. Okay. So I just need to set up the rocks in this position, then change the rules so that the lava is sink. There we go, and there's the path. Why is flag push? Why is flag push? This is a joke. Look, just push the flag on top of the keke. There we go. <laughs> All right. Five bridge assembly. Okay, this is the wind mechanic again. 
And once again, we have Lava not on Pillar's defeat. Effectively, if Pillar's on Lava, it's no longer defeating. It has Pillar. So I wanted to push this robot into the water to make it become a Pillar. And then I can use this Pillar to bridge the gap. Now it's time to doubt my Pillar position, but okay. Hmm, belt is shift. And there's a ton of boxes here. It's enough to like try to push these to the right. Once again, we need to make flag is win. Is that not that's not enough range? Well, no, no, that was that's not the right idea. I can make pillars, right? Hmm, that means I can do this, make a pillar here, and bring this out, and then try to break the water here. Yeah, okay, that makes flag is win. This is still questionable because I need a pillar to cross this gap. Current water scenario here is not great either. Can I push out? No, I can't. So this pillar's just stuck. This looks pretty awful. And this this last robot needs to be a pillar that bridges the gap on this side. So I really, I shouldn't be doing any of this. I feel like I messed up pretty badly. I'm just gonna undo a bunch of this stuff. So, so here, I can push the robot into this water instead, then push the pillar. Okay. That looks promising. And I can even push this pillar from here. And stuff the is win. I'm going to use this box to get rid of the water. Okay. Now this pillar wants to be pushed to the right, so I need to do it from here, then here. Then um um here. Okay, that yes, that does work. Luckily for me, pushing uh space on top of the pillar does indeed move it. So just keep moving this pillar until I make it all the way over to the flag is win part. There we go. Okay, now this robot needs some... Um, well, we have that water stuck prom, but luckily we do have this extra box, so... No, we don't push it through here. It's pushed outwards like this. And then we can sink a water, and then put this robot here. We, of course, needed that box, otherwise that pillar we would never be able to get out. And there we go. Okay, level 6 time. Skull Dodge Blockage. Okay. Well, clearly there's a ton of skulls that are being spawned. Okay, and this is the gimmick where I spawn lines of rocks, so I can use that to block the skulls. However, um, the water also just destroys Keke as well, so I need to block it from this row. Okay, now, for these skulls, I just go to the empty spaces because the turn's alternation just works out like that. Hmm, but does it work here? Seems like it's not, so I'm going to need to have to block one of the rows off. Okay, and now for here... Okay, no, I, I want to do it that there. I want to do it on this. Okay, no, the rocks are going too far. Um, hmm, oh? That useful? No way. Hmm. Problem is, if I do this, I'm not going to be on the correct parity there. So I just die when I press right. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I just need to, um, get rid of the... I didn't even need to get rid of the rocks. I just need to waste the turn so I can switch parity and then go this way. Okay. Overcomplicated that second part a little bit, but there we go. Level 7. This is another bug level. Hmm. Okay, so bat follow bug and eat bug. All right, so we can lure the bat away. That's the idea. So this bat is currently blocking the way to the key. So we need to use the bug to track the bat anywhere away from there. Okay, now let's use this again because I misplaced the bat location. There we go. You might, you might say I put it in a bat location. Okay, key near bug is not pushed. That's a new rule we just made. Huh. Is, is it just me or, or the, these bats are trying to go back to their original position? Okay, how do I get, get that away? <laughs> hmm. Okay, seemingly if they don't have spaces to move, I guess the bats almost like trap from being able to see the stump. So kind of just need to trap the bat in positions where it doesn't go back into the stump. Okay, here we have a skull going on. Hmm. Well, doesn't it no longer matters if bats are trying to get onto that stump in particular. Lag is... We don't want... We want to be push. 
But... Oh, we just put all the bats on top of each other. That's funny. Okay. That's not the whole point, though. The point is that now that all the bats are gone, I can push this flag into Keke and then press space again to stop being the bug. And there we go. Okay, level 8. Watch for rolling... But it's not rolling rocks. It's rolling skulls. Nice SM64 reference. Okay. We have a... Okay, the skulls unlock that... Hmm. So boxes in this level can be unlocked to become ladders. That seems pretty useful. I can't push these boxes around, I think. Hmm. I also see that it seems like the skulls have certain paths that if we filled in those paths, they would be able to unlock the boxes. Can I get on top of boxes? Just wondering. No, I can't. And I can't easily change facing direction. Is this the path I'm making? Statue is push. Okay. Hmm. Do I not get something? Why would I just do this and have that unlock the ladder and... This feels like cheese, to be honest. I want to at least show that off. So, does the statue go there? Unlock this ladder, which gives access here. I could make a rock here, go on top of this, and then bring the box out, seemingly. Oops. Why can't I not push- Oh, right! <laughs> I'm getting misled Ugh. by the visual representation here. Because then I literally just forgot, but it seems like you put a rock here. Hmm. And then, what? You, you probably do that, get to the other side. Then prepare. Why do they all disappear? Turn timings, they all be messed up. And you do this, I assume. Why? Here. Okay, honestly, the intended solution, whatever it is, it's doing a very bad job of being forced. I have actually no idea why I would have wanted to use that ladder. On the left side, there seemed like there was no reason to unlock it. Let's just win the level. Okay. Boss fight? Medorm. <laughs> Okay. That's a snake-like object. Oh, okay, we're playing as a king with a sword again. Which we haven't done for a while, so... Well, it doesn't really seem like we're, like, trying to attack the tail at all. Maybe. Oh, okay, it wasn't just- I just wasn't timing well enough. Okay, well, do that. Need to hold it, probably. There we go. And it's slowly decreasing in length as well. There we go. And one last one. Uh, no, not there. Okay, from here, there we go. Hello, me. Oh, we need to kill me as well. <laughs> okay, there we go. And that's the Orb of Wisdom. Try orbs. Okay, and... Five? Wow. The Sacred Realm. The Dark World Magic Mirror. Oh, shoot. Oh, I can teleport to the other side of the level. Whoop, don't do that. Okay, we are not- we do not ever want to hit a wall. Stars. We need to get all the- okay, yeah. We got that level without stars win rules, so we definitely need to get rid of them all. And, of course, we need to teleport to the correct positions that correspond to the reverse part of the map. I can get these stars by walking, though. Okay, and now... Oh, shoot. Wow, the... You know, I didn't realize the rose freaking killed me, too. Um, we can go from here to here. There's that star. And that star. Then we have the star at the very corner. Oh, there we go. And there's also a star... The... Um, in, in the left side. Yes, apparently since we wall to say left side. There we go. And, oh, there's a start at the top. Okay. You can just go here, and there we go. Phantom Waganon. <laughs> Waganon. Alright. Waganon. Alright, it's here. So what are we hitting? Try to hit the Wug? Hmm. Not really successful so far. Maybe I need to hit from the back specifically. Oh, there we go. Well, that wasn't a very big final boss, was it? Or, or no, that was that was the 
<laughs> Waganendorf. Okay. Woke has star. Oh, well, we immediately died. Um, mm, well, it's hard to do anything if Wug is tailing you. Mm, ow. Or, you know what? No. Mm, Wug? Wug? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait. What the? Was that a fake? Was that a fake out? Alright, of course. So we, we need to hit this multiple times, probably. It's just... Wug moves in a random direction, so... Like... Probably trying to do this in an actual roguelike fashion is going to be annoying. Yeah, please move into my sword. Please. And, when, and the skull will always fire in the same direction. So we should not rely on it. Okay? Oh. Skull always moves in the same direction. Come on. Wug. Will you move into my sword? How many hits? And another one. And another one. Oh, there we go. Finally. That was like five hits or so, but there we go. Phase two. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Orb eat sword. And you're throwing some sort of trident at me. Hmm. I need to defeat that. I need to defeat the trident. Orb eat sword? Hmm. Love how Baba is when apparently can't, can't kill the try dent fast enough. Okay. Mm. Not sure these hits are even doing anything. I can't even fire a sword at the skull. So. Oh, I hit it once. Okay. See, I just wish I knew. Why sometimes I could hit it and sometimes I couldn't. Nope. Nope, nope, I died. Bad time. Here I can hit it. Okay. Don't, don't, don't tell me so much. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is a new phase. Oh, two tridents. And you teleported away. Beautiful. Mm. It, it, it does seem like maybe it's about having the tridents out. Oh! Okay, there we go. So it seems like Wug only took damage when the tridents were out or something of that nature. Win. Let's go back in here and... Ending cutscene and meanwhile... Okay, well, ending cutscene. Cute red orb near tree is Keke. Baba? Baba said Baba eat with Keke. Wug make cake with Baba. Wug not evil. Wug not evil. If Keke sad, Keke find Wug and make cake with Wug. I'll eat cake near tree. Cake with Baba and Wug is best. Cake. <laughs> and so Baba, Keke, and Wug enjoyed some delicious cake together. The end. The Legend of Zell Baba, a link heke between words. Tw tw 2019? 2019? Yeah, this pack is actually incredibly ahead of its time in my opinion. Like the custom music, the sprites, and just how much levels are. There we go. More Zell Baba awaits? Let's check out the meanwhile. Oh, Wug is asleep. Hi, I'm playing as Baba. That's new. <laughs> okay, so Baba's ability is seemingly to place two portals. Okay. Hmm. So I, can... so I would like to place a portal here and then... Oh, shoot. Hmm. I'm not sure like that the statue is also being teleported. I mean, I can put a, a portal in here. Okay, that doesn't really successfully get past anything. I just want to place a portal near the midpoint. Hmm. Do we just do this to get past it? Nope. Not all- this is not all that successful. Alright, you know what? The other end of the portal should just be, like, around here. 
Then we can break the portal like that, and there's less statues to deal with. Okay. Right, we'll fully face through, so that was pretty fine. And there you go, flag is win. Last part didn't even require any portals. Huh? How it's made? Okay. Oh, dang. Behind the cutscenes. How the sword works. Okay, so this is something I didn't notice. I just didn't say anything. Obviously, it's a little weird because like all the rules are already on screen, but the part that's hidden also controls a lot. Like tile is hide right now, but if it's unhidden, you can see that there is a ring of tiles always around Keke. Idle tile is sword. So this makes the sword, but it makes it in random directions. Well, effectively random directions. So then we can make idle tile facing Kekei's sword. It's still a little weird because... Okay, I see. So the the tiles, because they're based on empty... Like, you see this empty near Kekei's tile rule? They're going in random directions. But if you do fungus make Kekei, you can see there's this stuff at the top that makes the tiles always face in the correct direction where Keke is effectively looking. It's actually the inverted direction, but that's how the sword will be placed because the tile always knows which tile the sword should be on because it's the one facing Keke. Okay, and now we just, well, just use this as normal. I like how even these are like cool levels. The axis system, this must be the double, yeah, climbing up and down the multi-layered puzzle. So, everything follows the keke. Okay, a bunch of rules here to color in object. Okay. Ah. Okay, so, when I'm on the ladder, it makes some bricks. Or, well, the ladder's always making bricks, but the bricks are controllable. And only the cliff and the statue that are not facing the brick stop you, which means that now, that statue is facing the brick, so it's not stop. And we continue controlling this brick, which causes the effect to cascade. So that is also what's causing the destruction effect there, because the brick is the one that dies, and of course the brick should die as we get to a lower level. Okay, and then we have the statue is cliff. I guess that's to just to show how it looks without the statue view. Okay, very nice. Okay, and Magnesis. Idol kick and make dust. Dust is empty. So that's just basically how dust is made. That part isn't that difficult to understand. Dust on pillar is fire. Okay. That's how we get that control. All on fire is you and not defeat and not win. So that's how it bypasses dying, of course. Okay. But it isn't... Hmm. It's not moving very well. So I need to make fire is you. How do I do that? There we go, fire is you. So then it will actually correctly follow me instead of just dying the very next turn. Okay, let's control this out of here. Flag is win and not you. I guess the not you part is also required to prevent possession of that. Because if we possess the flag, we wouldn't want to immediately win the level. I need to stop using possess for things don't fit it. Anyway, and then we have boss explanations. Okay, Midorm. It's a me with a cool hat. Oh, oh wow, we're all the we're outside of it. Okay. Cloud is white, water is blue. Of course, these have been reskinned, right? The cloud, the water, the lava and reskinned to look like rocks. Okay, so th is this how the objects move, I guess? Okay, we can break the parts of the snake, but that's not really what we want to do, is it? So I guess that's how the various parts of the snake turn, like, when the orb dies, the nearby rock-like objects become an orb. So that's the behavior that's mimicking. Okay. And you can see how orb is empty. It makes all the orbs go away except for the one that is correctly connected. Basically all the rules on the right side are just to keep track of which orb is the one that should be still there because it will constantly remake that orb over and over. You can even see there's like the bit of white behind the orb which is causing the orb to be remade every turn. Okay, and then all this stuff is moving. Uh... That looks pretty excessive, but it's actually... I guess it's just demonstrating the middle part of the screen, which is the important part. And then... Okay. If I put that in there... 
Oh shit, it's showing like mini versions of the boss. And then of course we just do the boss as normal. Honestly, the most annoying part of this is really more of the sword cooldown rule. That's the part that kind of delays what I'm trying to do here, but oh well. Not like it's a hard level anyway. And, okay, there we go. Okay, and, wouldn't be Zelda without tennis. This was tennis? Okay, where are we? We're on the left side again. I'm gonna break the wug. The rocket is shift. Okay, the rocket is on a cycle that's causing these teleportations. Okay, and those show the teleport locations. Okay, orb not near Keke is shut. Skull is moving open. Here's another loop that's being made. So it's causing the me and the wug to make skull. Hmm. Sword near skull is stop. We do want to make it past there. I didn't know the sword stopped the skull in this level. And then there's the... I guess without was not a property or conditional thing yet. So that's why they have to use level not near. It's just basically just saying that level without a wug in the level is a win though. So I feel like I misunderstood the idea of the level because in this example, it seems like we're trying to redirect the direction of the skull to make it hit wug. Lol. <laughs> okay. All right. King Babongo. All right. We can make a bunch of stuff shift. Okay, the bug is shift. Love is... Okay, that is showing the Baba's path. The loves are turning the Baba. Killer is shift. Okay, so this is causing the Baba to spit that fire attack. It's also showing the tree and the flower. And the fence. Dang, that's a lot. Control stuff. And then... This is activating the Keke's hookshot, effectively. I think this level is larger than you can even do it in the editor. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the tiles. And the tiles control when Baba decides to do its attacks. Alright. <laughs> wow. All right, whoops. I just hit the lava and send the level. Okay. There you go. There you go. Argarok. Ah, okay, this was the one with the bat. Keki online is not melt. Okay, this is the, first of all, the hookshot mechanic. Hmm. We want to break Keke is hot, I think. I don't know why. I guess that's just part of the demonstration that we break Keke is hot. Alright, we can break that at the very top left. Okay. Now we have this bat facing love is turn. Ah, this is just, once again, the loves that show where, how the bat moves effectively. And then these rules... I'm facing bad as Oh, th these are the ones that pull the bat into position, yeah. I love these arrows to show where you should mess around. I guess those are the sides of the level. I guess that's if the player pulls the baba... Uh, not pulls the <laughs> Pulls the bat a little too far away from where it should be. Those fungus are to prevent it from going too far, I think? Wug not without stars, but I didn't know Wug was in this level. Oh. The wug just controls that, um, if there's a star- Hey, wait! There's a- there is a without in the le- What? There is a without conditional. Okay. Um, <laughs> weird to use not near, but okay. That's just so that if the star is in the level, there's a, some delay as the wug moves and then creates Keke's win. Orb, follow, flower, and move. Hmm. Okay, that's just the bat destroying itself when it's on a wall and then making an orb, yeah. Up here, we have triangle and bat make fire, as well as a fire has lava rule. Wow, okay. The keys are the ones that are falling behind as they ripple into the walls. Okay, we've caused a little too much of a ripple effect on the left side of the level. <laughs> okay, I just pulled it to the wall again. All right. And... Final boss explanation. Homing tridents are fun. Line is defeat and move. You can make the rows, you can unhide all this stuff. Grab a shift. To show how the Keke rows wug make their respective objects, I guess. And then we have this rocket is shift, which caused the teleportation stuff to happen. Okay. And now rocket and crab are going to be shift on their own intervals there. 
We can make some follow rules, unhide the lava at the very end, and then make the wug open. There we go. Stars wug. What are these? I guess all this stuff is level ending material because it makes Bob and stuff. Okay. With loves. Flower mm. love eat. Honestly, love doesn't really seem like it's being used the same way. It does seem like maybe the love is timed so that if you hit the wug during the love, it actually scores a hit, but to me the conditions to that felt pretty unknown. Yeah, it seems like that's the behavior. I mean, it also seems like it happens when the trident is nearby. Okay, there we go. There's a star. What about the intro cutscenes? Idle to hide clutter. Uh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> you think anyone can read this cutscene? It does seem like there's, like, um, something on the left side, though. Okay. So, text is being revealed by hidden objects. There we go. <laughs> Just watch that on horror speed if you want to understand it. Okay. This is- this looks like a freaking reverse typewriter or something, the way that the text is being pushed down into view, I think. Okay, that was the Zelda Baba level pack. Really just amazing. You've gotta respect, like, so much work went into the mechanics. I guess I'll leave you with, uh, the Zelda theme. <laughs>